Welcome back, Random TV Review. It's your girl, Lynette. And it's your mm. boy, Stan Lee. <laughs> Listen. Oh, Lord. I am so excited yeah, that man. our show yeah. is, is back. back hey. <laughs> Let me go ahead and go on a rant. Y'all almost didn't see us tonight because it got packed. I don't know. I've been watching the trailers, the promo, all of that. And I didn't realize that it started coming on earlier. Yeah. So whoever was in charge of making that decision. 8 o'clock, man. Decision, Thank you. Yeah. Appreciate Thank it at you. home. Appreciate it, man. Oh, my God. Yes, But geez. listen, because this is our show, we don't fell in love with every last one of the cast members. And this is an opportunity for us to really talk, relate, get some good shows that yeah. we could actually just discuss some things and relate on some things. I'm going to go ahead and say this. We should not take it for granted. That every last one of them showed back up on our screen. Yeah. 2020 has been a motherfucking year. Yeah. 2021 don't yeah. start at all. <laughs> <laughs> so to have every last one of them come back to us, yeah. be on our screen looking healthy and well and looking happy, good. Yes, sir. We should not take that for granted. For that, we all just gonna have to just say thank. You. Thank you, Lord. Yes, thank indeed. You. Yes, indeed. So we could go ahead and get into this episode, Queen Sugar Season Five, Episode One, late February 2020. Yeah. And from what I saw on the trailer. Trailer, it looks like this entire season is going to go with the theme of what 2020 was. Yeah. And hopefully 2021 will start to leave some skit behind. We, I hope we, so. We like. can just only hope. But we they didn't disappoint. They didn't disappoint yeah. with episode one. It was really good. Very good. But in true Queen Sugar fashion, <laughs> we just can't get a episode where no, no skit happens. <laughs> yep. So let's go ahead. We're going to talk about Blue. So we over at the house and we see that Blue is um out there picking with his father, Ralph Angel, and you know, and he's burning up some toast. So Ralph Angel was like, okay, we need to get back on the inside. We need to check on this here toast that you burning up in the house. <laughs> Blue said, I ain't burnt no toast up. This yeah. toast is perfect. He was taking that thing personal too. Oh, I, so I don't toast. burn up toast no more. I don't more. burn up no toast no more. What you talking about? I'm the executive chef around here. <laughs> so we see that he's preparing a breakfast in bed, preparing breakfast in bed for his mom. And in true fashion to what mom and dads do when their children make them bucked up meals, Oh, baby, it's just it's, so good. It's delicious. It's perfect. <laughs> Ralph Angel was like, darling, you know that, you that stuff is... Yeah. I said, yeah, because she was about to break off one of her on teeth. She was about to go <laughs> have to visit MCV School of Dentistry or somebody to get that skit See, Ralph, Ralph Angel, we need to teach Blue how to scrape that dig on, that, that black stuff off that toast like we used to do growing up. Hello. You ain't throwing no toast away. Oh, no. I don't care you burn it or not. Oh, you better put some butter on. Scrape it off, put some, a whole lot of butter up on it uh -huh, like you said. And soften it up. Hell yeah. <laughs> so we over there at um, Vi's Diner and you see her in Hollywood. They're making a whole bunch of desserts and Hollywood is helping her out and they got this black love moment going on. You know, he can't keep his hands off of it. He's trying to sneak away and get a little quicker. Before yeah, they go a little, a little quick seven mm -hmm. minutes and him. So <laughs> so that they can <laughs> prepare for this big event that Aunt Vi keeps saying, I don't know how this is gonna turn out because we've never done anything like this. And I'm like, what you talking about? So then we kind of switch over where we see that Nova is at her house. Smoking weed and burning sage. I don't know if she's smoking weed, but I definitely see the sage <laughs> being burned. And, and weed and sage definitely is a great combination. Go. Don't ask me how I know. Just listen to the words that I say. Um, there we go. So she's, she's cleansing herself and mm -hmm. cleansing her spirit and whatnot. And I see that she takes a pair of her scissors and she goes to her locks. And I said, baby, hold on, hold on. Did, did you pray about this? <laughs> like, did you did you get counsel from the ancestors about this? I mean, obviously she was. She was burning all that sage, so she had some But answers. sometimes the spirits can get confused. <laughs> and she cut off one of her locks. And the reason I take this so personal, because I'm growing my locks. And I can't wait until they hit right here. <laughs> and hers all the way down here, she cut them off. Yeah, I if, if y'all want to see him, go to the vlog channel. She she do got some vlogs with her out. Yeah, I, I do so, wear my yeah. hair out, but not yeah. late at night when I'm trying to go <laughs> Um, So she cuts her hair, and I said, okay, so she's definitely getting a renewing of herself. There are some changes going on. So you know what it is? Oh, in with the new. When a black woman changes her hair, watch out. She is definitely renewing herself in one way, one more than one way. So we see that the entire Bordelon family is getting dressed up and they're going somewhere and it's time to meet at the courthouse. We see Charlie, she's trying to get Micah on the phone. She finally does. 
Micah's blowing her off, you know, and she was like, Micah, I thought because you were so close, I would actually hey, see, see you. you more. Yeah, it's a little she bit more. She was like, I haven't seen you in a couple of months. I said, stop paying that tuition. You'll <laughs> yeah. see it quite often. <laughs> um, so come to find out, like, I really thought they were going to, like, Charlie's first council meeting or something like that. Yeah, something like that. Well, yeah. it ended up. Huh, they had the citizen uh, for old Mrs. Brujo. Mrs. Brujo, she has been found guilty in the charges of um, conspiring to have Queen Sugar Mill burnt to the ground. Yeah. And the judge was not here to be played nah, with. Nah, she won't. Nah. <laughs> and see, and the way that my mind works, and if we're going to go on the theme of what 2020 and 2021 has been giving us, I thought we was about to have a whole Donald Trump moment. Yeah, well, I thought she was going to get off. Yeah, well, I all the evidence get off. is stacked up against you. And you get off. And all, you quit, still. Acquitted of all charges. That's what I thought was going to happen. But she came through. But the way that the judge started talking at her when she started running her goddamn mouth, I knew that she was getting ready to slap her with a sentence, man. Seven years. She should have got. She should have got some more. But we'll take it. But we'll take the seven years in prison because they fitting the red list. And hopefully they don't take her to the the. I can't even remember what the type of prison called. You know, for uh, people that got Island. money. Yeah. Take her to Rikers Island. To where? Rikers. <laughs> yeah, I, I always say it wrong. Give yeah. Take her to a real prison where Knock Knock and Big Barbara them reside. Take her there. Never. <laughs> Matter of fact, she'll probably be on house arrest at her plantation, in a plantation. So, it is what it is. But we saw Parker. Y'all remember Parker from last season? Yep. Where we finally was able to see Mr. Landry's black daughter. Yeah, which we did not expect. <laughs> I had really forgotten about her. But we seen her in the back when her auntie was being sentenced. And I said, this is about to be a motherfucking problem. Mm -hmm. So back over there at Ralph Aja and Dollar's house, and we go say Ralph Aja and Dollar's house because it is what they, it they is. It look like they playing house to me. And I'm not even mad. Y'all know Dollar ain't my favorite character, but I'm not even mad about it. As long as she, she don't buck up, and long as Ralph Aja don't get on my nerves. Oh, oh so she don't want you back over there? Is she, that what you saying? No, hey, 2020, man, anything go. <laughs> Black love. Black love. <laughs> so, over there at the house, Ralph Angel gets served with papers that he had to sign for. And I said, anytime you have to sign for some goddamn papers, papers. Yep. it's because they need to know that you were the recipient, recipient of the paper, right? Right. Well, he opens it up and he doesn't say anything. But um, Dollar was like, um, I knew then something was fucked up. What's going on, Ralph Angel? So, it flipped over. We see that Nova, she started this thing called the Trudy Papers, and it's more like a community forum. I don't know if you have like next door in your neighborhood, but people can get on there, write articles, talk about things that yeah. are of interest to them and whatnot. Right. And she dedicated it to her mom, which her name was True. True. And um, so she's at her house and she's having this kind of like a celebration, an unveiling of you know, what this is going to be about and to ask, you know, answer any questions, give her a little spill, whatever. Mm -hmm. She didn't expect Ralph Angel to come because, you know, they still beefing yep. about the entire thing that she did where she exposed his business when it wasn't her business to expose. Exactly. But he showed up <clears throat> and you could tell that it was like a weight lifted off of her that he showed up. And she only showed up because Dollar. Because Dollar was like she this. She was like, you know, be the bigger person. I said, well, if Dollar can forgive Nova, then yeah, you, yeah. <laughs> you kind of don't have to take this on yeah. the chin and just be like, all right. See, and the way that Ralph Angel's going to have to handle her is how we have to handle some of our family members. And y'all know what we're talking about. I forgive you. But the way that we moved before, we just ain't going to never move like that no more. Yeah. So yeah. I know, I know how far I can go with you. Mm -hmm. I know what I can do around you. I know what information that I can divulge to you. Yeah, breaking trust is a motherfucker, man. What is it? Breaking trust, <laughs> man. Your trust get broken, man. It's hard, though. Oh, it's real hard. It's hard to give a person a second chance, man. So, yeah, then you have to customize this package now. Mm -hmm. Like how everything used to be, now, now you, you know, customize. In, yeah. Yeah, you can't handle all that. So, I got to tell you, you know, something else and tell them other people every day. Because yeah. you, you, can't, you can't handle the truth. So... We see that Ralph Angel looks over there at Nova and tells Nova, we need to talk. 
And immediately Charlie goes into what we call. She started backing up through the crowd. <laughs> it's like, let me go and mediate this. Because I'm going to have to fix this, 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 this or might mediate go this. left fast <laughs> either something about to go down they gonna get to fight yep. or they about to make up either way i need to be present well we next thing we see is that charlie don't sat there and called an emergency council meeting in the middle of the night mm -hmm. which means that it's a motherfucking emergency yep well the paper that ralph angel received was a paper that stated that their land is about to be seized for eminent domain yeah and half of the farmers in saint josephine parish was being affected are being affected by this really yeah and see here's my thing is i have no problem with the intimate no bank domain because it's almost it I, I don't you know I don't know if it can be stopped, but pretty much for those who don't know what it is, the government has the ability to come in and take your private private property and turn it into a public use. Yep. And they're supposed to compensate you justly. Justly. For doing that. But see, we know in the case of these poor farmers that when you're poor, you will take whatever they give you. And I think that's Charlie's fight is like, no. I know you're not going to be just towards these people, so no. And then we, we you, not, have, go you have another layer that goes along with that as well. Most of these people's um, land, most of the land actually house their deceased family members. Yes. So it's not just about the land and the money and I can take up and I can move to California or go to Florida where it's warm and nice and I can get me a condo and right. I don't have no grass to cut, none of that. No, no, no. This is my family. Right. This is my legacy. This is my ancestry. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that's here on this land. This is the blood, sweat, and tears of the slaves. Right. That took care of this land to be passed down to me. Yeah. And you mean to tell me with a signature on a paper? You just gonna come and take it and hand me a check and I'm supposed to be okay yeah. with that? And you know it's gonna be a small check. So while Charlie is fighting, you have this other councilman down. I can't think of his name right now. Was it Councilman Jackson? I don't know what his name is. I know what his name is. I just can't think of it right now. Yeah. So y'all ain't got to put it down in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> so um, he was pretty much like, listen, it's the middle of the night. All you want to do is just him and her because it affects your family's land. They're going to be compensated. And she was like, no, 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 no. Nah. So then Ralph Angel jumps up and he was like, wait a minute how are we even here? Like, for real, for real. And um, so now you got all these people trying to blame Charlie for this. It was like, she tried to do this. And she, Ralph Angel said, listen, mm -hmm. this ain't got nothing to do with Charlie. All she was doing was trying to help. And she don't need to be doing this by herself. By herself. I said, thank you for taking up for your sister. Hey, hey, I said, Ralph, boy, you said it right that time, bruh. That she don't need to be doing this Yeah, because she been the one fighting all by herself. All the time. All the time, yep. So then we see that there is an emergency hearing in front of the judge. I said, okay, okay. all right, we go get somewhere with this. So then we have Nova and Charlie pleading with the judge about, no, 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 this can't go down like this. Yes, there will be a check involved, but didn't we say that, um, no, because Nova brought up the fact that in other projects that the government has done like this, yeah, it has turned to hell, like diseases and all of that. Just, so why don't we give it a chance so that we can have this um testing? What was Vi it? Yeah, environmental. environmental testing. Yeah. And to make sure that it's even safe to do so. So this is what the judge did. Oh, the judge was like, oh, let me go ahead and take this a little step further. While we're waiting for this independent testing, why don't y'all go back to the drawing board and see if there's an alternate route right. yeah. that y'all can take to get you what you want without affecting as many, as many farmers, yeah. So now we see, I said, okay. So we got Nova and Charlie like, okay, this is a win. And Parker is sitting over there like, oh. But like so. I told you, Nova Nova and Charlie is a powerhouse together. When they get in the yeah, lawn. Well, yeah, when they get in the lawn, yeah. But that's typically, you know, how it works though. <laughs> so once they get dismissed out of, um, from speaking with the judge, Parker approaches Charlie and was like, can we have a conversation alone? <laughs> but what did Nova say? Nova said, don't you ever dismiss me. 
I said, that's right. I'm like, <laughs> like you talking no, to No, no, no. She said, you don't have the right. You don't have the right. right. To dismiss me. To dismiss me. I said, God, don't. I mean, what? just this, talking like she not standing there. Right. Like she's not important enough to be in this conversation. Obviously, she is. But any hoodles. So Charlie was like, so what is it that you want? She was like, I think we need to have an honest conversation. I was like, honest conversation? <laughs> like, for real? I mean, where did this even come from? So later on, we did see that Charlie had a conversation with Parker alone at Queen Sugar Milk. I said, Charlie, what's this all about? Yeah. Charlie said, you know what? I brought you here because I wanted you to see what it was that your aunt did. She didn't just destroy a meal. She destroyed pride of ownership. Right. Like this was something that all of us all came of us together came to do. And yep. we were proud of it. Yep. And it was something that we all felt like we owned together. Like we had a say in some things. Yeah. Sound like the White House just like <laughs> about six, seven, eight years ago. Right. <laughs> like we felt like we were a part of something. And Parker was like, Charlie, I think you're misunderstanding what we're what I'm trying to do here. We both are trying to benefit the farmers, but you're trying to do it in a Booker T. Washington type of way. You still want these farmers out here tilling and milling mm. their, their land like back in the day. But we're trying and to I'm innovative. trying to bring you it up into 21st century. Like, let's do some things in an innovative way. And this is where you always kind of get confused. And I always take it back to church because that was one of the struggles <laughs> we had at our old church. You have this new generation, all these great innovative ideas of mm -hmm. how to bring things to modern day technology and all of these things and make things easier you have the old school that's like oh hell no nah. this is how we've been doing it and this we, is how, yep, we, we know the continue, results we, yeah we're gonna continue to do it this way yeah we don't and like we don't like wrong. facebook instagram until or now, YouTube. yeah <laughs> until the pandemic yep. and then all the pastors on there like this with their nose up in the camera <laughs> praise the lord praise face. the lord I gotta <laughs> wait from the Lord for you this Sunday. They buffer for the comfort of my own home and get, they get paused like, ah, ah. and no still stuff. <laughs> <Stop. laughs> I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> but I'm gonna stop tonight. So y'all remember Hollywood decided that he was going to open up like this clubhouse for men mm -hmm. because you remember when he got his check and whatnot. He said, you know what? There's not a safe space for men to get together and just have normal conversations where we just speak, converse about different things. So we see now that that is starting to come, come together, into man. Yeah. fruition. That's so awesome we too. have Ralph Angel, we have Deacon Prosper. <laughs> Deacon Prosper look good, y'all. He don't like he don't age backwards. Right. I said, did he did he find the Neil Long and the Lorenz Tate drink? Like, cause he's aging backwards. But they over there talking smack, you know. Um, they said that Hollywood don't change the paint color 15, 15 times. times yes. <laughs> you know, when I, and I thought that was a real cute scene. And of course, Ralph Angel, um, well, Prosper realized that Ralph Angel was under some some, some stress. And he yeah. said, you know what? Good to see you smiling, bro. It's just good to see you smile. Yeah. And Prosper always, he's one of those older guys that I grew up around. They didn't have to say much. Yeah. But when they said something. It was very impactful. It was, yeah, yeah very it was impactful. like, mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, he's something to think about. Yeah, so <clears throat> this entire time, I'm looking at Ralph Angel, and I'm like, even when he was sitting at the table eating because he had to go, he had to leave there because <laughs> Hollywood <laughs> said, you need to hurry up and get home because I heard Blue do not play yeah, around. Yeah, his dinner John. time is punctual. <laughs> yeah. and he don't play about you being late. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so you need to go ahead and get home. So when he did get home, Blue was like, Daddy, don't you like when a child checks a parent in a nice, respectful way? I'll never see you pray. I want to hear what you got to say to the law. Yeah. So, so mom, come mama told me some good things happened today. <laughs> so you ought to be thankful for those things. Yeah. Like, All right. Now. Let us pray. <laughs> Father God. <laughs> so Ralph Angel goes into, I said, don't start talking like that. Cause you know, Ralph Angel, he can take you all the way down to the bar sipping on some yak. <laughs> law. It may. <laughs> Ralph Angel. I know I ain't talked to you in a while. But uh I like to thank you for my my, my son. Dollar. And, and and my uh I thought he was about to say wife, but he's uh 
love him a lot. Yeah, love him a lot. And when he said that, I said, oh, he about to propose mm -hmm. at some point. Like, he about, to, he about to put a ring on. I don't know where you're getting the money from because things are struggle around there. Yeah. But we're going to talk about that in a minute. Now, he got that PPP, man. <laughs> <laughs> You should, I mean, he got a business. They run the farm, so he can he fly for them PPP loans, man. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> so he misusing the government. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, I was gonna say something about some people that got the PPP. Yeah, we, yeah, we know. Yeah. That went and got the L. We ain't, yeah, we ain't, yeah, we ain't fit to do that. We don't want nobody to get in trouble. No, cause. <clears throat> Hook a crook, get yours. But yeah. anywho, so Nova and Calvin, Calvin is having <laughs> he having a hard time understanding black women in their hair, and he ran there eating food on Nova's silk pillowcase, and he was Look. like, "But I, but you cut your locks off, so I thought that the pillowcase was you know fair use at this point." She was like, "Ninja, Look, Cal, don't." Look. I've been around black women all my life. And you ain't never gonna understand it. And I still don't understand, so don't even try. Like, like Nova said, just put that on the list. Yeah. <laughs> even I gotta do that as a black man, just, just put it on the list. I'm gonna tell you how confusing it is. I don't cut all my goddamn hair off, started locks, and got a wig on. Tell yeah, me that uh -huh. ain't some confusing yeah. they skip. Yep. But it, don't talk about me. I ain't talking about y'all. Yeah. But, um. Spend so, all that money to cover it up. So. See how, she, see how she ignoring me? I am. Spent all that money. Oh, I spent a grip. To cover it up. Yeah. Yeah. They're going to flourish one day. But when they do, I'm coming for you. But right now, they ain't acting right. <laughs> so, Nova, she seems like she's happy about meeting Calvin's family. You but know, not him. <laughs> but he, he over there drinking water by yeah. the cups. And I said, oh, you got some racist people in Man, your he family. Was drinking that cool. I was drinking that water like a corn liquor. You ain't never lying. <laughs> He said, you know what? I don't even have to go to my dad, my granddaddy's um birthday party. I, we ain't got to go. She said, your granddad is turning 85. What you mean you're not going to go? He said, my granddad is he not, not nice. nice. I said, oh, he racist. That's he all racist, that is. Yeah. And Nova pretty much said, don't even worry about it. It's going to be all right. I had to bring you around to my family. You took that on the chin. <clears throat> it came out to be well. Calvin looking at you like you don't you know. You just don't understand my granddaddy. <laughs> you don't know the lightness of what you about to deal with. Shout out to David Harrington. Now, I think he's more concerned about how Nova is going to respond to the granddaddy. Could be. Yeah, because you know, he not going to say nothing out the way. And Nova just going to stand there and not say nothing. Oh, that ain't fitting to happen. Not at all. Yeah. Not at all. They ain't going to be together no more. So Calvin, you might want to think twice about that. So, Micah. Now, this entire time, I was trying to figure out, like, what's Micah's deal? Like, this guy keeps rolling up yeah, on him. Yeah, like, we got to go now and And when stuff. he rolls up on him, and you see, and my mind is so warped these days. I'm thinking about power. I said, Lord, is he out here running drugs? Yeah, that's like, he through running, the app? Yeah, running drugs <laughs> through the cottage. <college. laughs> <Yeah. laughs> through, through, the, through, the, uh, through the tutoring app. But like, they was moving he, like that, though. They yeah. was moving like that. Yeah. Well, come to find out that Micah is in position to join what was it um new zeta kappa yeah so he's turning. pledging and um so that's a good look it goes right along with micah's very mm, personality so that'll be great for him if he's in the right one so we don't know and obviously his mama probably don't know nothing about it either oh no so we'll see how that works out so now we are finally at what Aunt Vi and um, Hollywood, uh, Uncle Hollywood was um, baking all these desserts for. Come to find out that Charlie, I said, come on, Charlie. Come on now. She created a day called the Feast of St. Josephine, honoring St. Josephine, the lady that the entire parish is named after. Uh, for a black woman. Did we know that last season? We probably did. But just don't remember. And... Charlie was like, how fitting of it that the first black woman in city council is the one that honors this woman. And so when I thought yeah. it was so great that everyone was responsible for bringing a portrait, a framed portrait of their loved one that went ahead and passed on to yeah. and honor them on this day of celebration. I thought it was 
excellent. Yeah, it was awesome. So then it was time to celebrate. Let's drink, eat, be merry. So all of a sudden you're sitting at the table, and I said, "This is about to go left." Yeah. I know every it's time about, it's going good, you know, it's yeah, about yeah. to go left. So we see Parker march her tail up there to the mic, and I said, first of all, who who, who gave, gave her the right? Yeah, the permission to open your lips on the mic. So she goes up to the mic, and she um, introduces herself as being newly appointed to some kind of position in the Beckington group. And she was happy and delighted to announce that not only hmm. will the farmer's land be safe from the eminent domain, they've created another route thanks to Charlie Borderline. Borderline, Yep. Borderline West. I guess you hit them the right here. You're giving her credit. I know it's right here. You give her credit. I know it's Boosket. Come on now. She said the route was like on through 21st or whatever. So Charlie's face immediately broke because she she knew what that meant. Mm -hmm. But it took a minute for everyone else to catch on yeah. to what that meant. And all of a sudden, you could hear the uproar in the crowd. Yep. And they was like, 21st? That's right through the cemetery. Cemetery. That's what my grandma and my dad were born. Yep. Child, if you don't know nothing about some black folk, don't you mess with them dad people. Huh? Huh? Hmm. I said, wait, 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 wait. And yeah, see, here's hey, the look, thing. Hey, look, that just made me thought about something. Did y'all? <laughs> this is like, just go way back. I mean, <laughs> don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do I it. I mean, did y'all have like, you know, you ride in the car with your grandma and you go past the church and she be like, cut the music down. Everybody shut the fuck up. We got to pay respects. But in the back, you like, but they can did. They, can they, they did. Can they hear us? I mean, this makes no sense. I mean, I could not. <laughs> Yeah, if you can relate to that, please put that in the comments, please. Then when you move to the city. And don't let it be no rainstorm me. That's the Lord doing his work. Shut up. Everybody better be quiet. And get in the corner. Yeah. I said, no, nah, that was just an excuse. You hated when a when thunderstorm mm -hmm. came, boy. You, that was that way of just making you shut up. Yep, exactly. But using the Lord. Yep, manipulating us with the, in the Lord's name. That's all. That's all. But I, I had a thought about this whole cemetery thing because I just think a little forward. They don't bury the dead underground down there, right? Uh, I just... So that that's even more morbid. That you're going to take a highway and go straight through a cemetery where the people aren't even in the ground, which means they have to be disturbed. What? Hmm. So immediately, like I said, the people started realizing what this meant. And this is what pisses me off about us black folk. And I can say it because I'm black. Yeah. We will quickly turn on each other in the drop of a mm -hmm. dime. Yep. Won't even give an opportunity for any type of explanation. Nope. As much as Charlie has done for y'all and have been fighting her tail off for mm -hmm. you all, immediately y'all go into blame, blame, blame. Blame. Yep. Without even hearing the fact that this woman just pretty much took what Charlie was attempting to do. Went behind her back, got something approved, and stamped Charlie's name on it and yep. said, thanks to Charlie, yep. this is what y'all got now. What? And was and forgot to ask, she said they was giving them double. And giving them double. So. You can't even make this get up. Yeah. And I think if it wasn't for Aunt Vi, like, give her a chance to explain. Yeah, give her a chance to explain. Yeah, you know, this person is just, Yeah. So I'm but they did that to her before, so they I was not always surprised. always do that to her. And Charlie is always sat. She is always in a position where she has to be by herself to figure it out. Yep. And hopefully this time, she doesn't have I'm to be by herself. I'm going to say like I said. Every season, Charlie, get your skit. And get out. And pack up and go back to California where you had your good life. <laughs> and let them black folk in St. Joe Paris fend for themselves. Yeah. So I'm I went back there and checked on her because she don't rip things off the wall like she having a whole um, wait and exhale moment. And I I say, you okay, Charlie? She said, no. But I'm going I'm to going be. To and what I don't do is I don't lose. Right. I'm and I win. said, come on now. Can't, just just fight, Parker. Just fight him. But I'm tired of seeing Charlie fighting though, man. No, physically. Yeah, I, yeah, I definitely want to see her whoop him. But just, just, I'm just that, that fight. Yeah. 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 So now we see what well, we knew. We knew this was coming. 
Ralph Angel and Dollar, they're walking and they talking about blue. And they was like, that boy gonna break our heart one day when he just up and leave us. And it was like, up and leave us? You know what us mean. <laughs> and he was like, I've been thinking. <laughs> I've been thinking about the future. And, I, uh, and then he got down on that one knee. And I said. I said, do you got a ring this time? I said, you about to have a ring. And did you see how quickly they paying that ring? I said, okay, so what's the significance of this ring? Because it wasn't the traditional engagement ring. I was like, was that his mom's ring? Like, where did he get this ring from? Like, we need we need answers. But, right. of course, Dollar accepted the engagement, the proposal. So now we got a wedding to go to, y'all. We, yeah. we got to get our skit together and come on down there with our mask because we still in the pandemic. <laughs> I'm gonna give me some jewels on my mask. Nah, I just think I'm gonna send them something on Amazon, man. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all going with the wedding and reception and everything. Just receive my gift in the mail. Yeah, we still in two, in two days. <laughs> we still social distancing. Yeah. <laughs> what we gonna send them? I don't know. Yeah, they need some things right now. But anyway, it was a good goddamn episode. Y'all gonna know what y'all think what? about it. Nah, I ain't gonna say that. Why? I was gonna say I was gonna send them a toaster. Don't do that. So, so Blue can make them some nice toast. See, now you're offending Blue in the middle of you trying to be shady against them. That ain't even right. <laughs> Blue can cook. Leave Blue out of it. You just need a little work on the toast, that's all. But he grown. He little boy. I've been there. I don't burn a lot of toast. Hell, we grown and we still be burning up stuff. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, if you like the video, go ahead and rate the video. Thumbs up, thumbs yeah. down. Make sure that you go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you like what you see. We'll be back here again next week, straight from the VA. The Dirty Dirty South. Two up, two, two, up, two, two down. down. Holla. Holla.